Hi there, Captain Kevin. How are you doing? How are you? Good. Good, Good to see you again. Yeah. So, Lock and Dam number 13. It's Lock and Dam number 13 of 27 locks and dams here on the river. Basically, from St. Louis to St. Paul, they turned the river into a series of stair-step lakes to maintain a nine-foot deep channel for the towboats that go up and down the river. Just the engineering of it is just phenomenal. The design of the roller and tainer gates is actually a World War I design. Oh. It was a German design. We confiscated plants when we invaded Germany, and they used that to build the locks and dams here in the United States in the 30s. They built the structure ahead of us in three years using teams of horses and mules and steam-powered cranes and shovels. Yeah, this lock and dam actually flooded 14,000 acres once it was completed and overall raised the water about 30 feet higher than what it normally would be. It's gravity fed from the river above, so there's two 14-foot square valves and each one of the lock walls are a tunnel so they can let water in through those two 14-foot square valves to fill this chamber at the rate of a million gallons a minute. For every two feet we come up in the lock, nearly a million gallons of water will be let into the lock chamber. We're gonna go through 13 and 12 today. Normally at Lock and Dam 13, we're raised up about 10 to 12 feet to the level of the river above the Lock and Dam. Once we get here, it's usually about 15, 20 minutes and we're through. There's a towboat that just leaving the lock right now and mm -hmm. he took about an hour we can and a see half that. to get through. Mm -hmm. So we try to time when we get here to get here just in between when the towboats are here. 